This is Warner with Warner's Tree Surgery. It's uh, February 23rd, 2017. I'm looking at a Palo Verde that's got a problem with insects. And the way you can tell this has got insects in it is by this scarring. All this scarring is created by the fungus that the insects carry with them. Uh, they usually enter or they, sometimes they like to enter at the branch collar but sometimes you'll see them uh, on the on the trunks. Uh, there's four or five insects that get in Palo Verdes. The one that will is the most dangerous is the uh, the Palo Verde longhorn beetle, which gets in the roots. It surfaces in sometime in May, June, something like that. They come out. But they'll stay in the tree for five or six years, seven years, and in seven or eight years they'll uh, they'll completely eat the roots, and the tree will fall over, uh, which doesn't usually happen. It's kind of rare when that happens. Usually it's the other insects that sap the strength of the tree, which is the case in this. Uh, you can also see the scarring not the scarring, but the discoloration on the, the branches, which again is, you're looking at fungus, which is uh, caused by uh, the insects. The insects, every insect carries fungus with it. So what we do for this is we get the customer started on a yearly regiment of very advanced tree and shrub, which you can get at Home Depot. And you do that yearly. And then I come out and I inject the tree with some quick acting poison. I do that twice. And then that usually takes care of everything as long as the customer follows through with the treatment with the bear. Okay, so they usually only see me a couple of times. Uh, but that's it. If you got a problem with any of your trees, the number is 480-969-8808. This is Warner with Warner's Tree Surgery. Thank you very much. Hello, this is Pat from Warner's Tree Surgery. And today I'll be talking about Palo Verde trees and the danger they face from insects. Insect pests can and do injure the Palo Verde and other desert trees. These pests can damage leaves, twigs, branches, trunks, and roots. The most dangerous is the root borer. The Palo Verde borers are root borers and are rarely seen above ground. Adults are 4 inches to 6 inches long, with antennae nearly as long as their bodies. Adults are active July through October. Immature larvae feed on roots of Mexican Palo Verde and other non-native trees. Larvae spend up to three years underground feeding on roots. Over a seven to ten year period, Palo Verde borers will gradually kill a tree. Most adult borer females lay eggs from spring through summer. Another class of insect that usually attacks stressed or damaged desert trees like the Palo Verde are the flathead borers. Flathead borers most commonly invade sunburned or otherwise damaged areas along the trunk and branches of trees. Olive gray adults lay eggs under the bark of damaged areas. The larvae are cream colored and legless and mature to one and a half inches long. The maturing larvae feed on dead wood and make small tunnels filled with what appears to be sawdust. This damage occurs beneath the bark and can go unnoticed for long periods. Another boar that attacks the Palo Verde is the round-headed boars. This is what the larvae of the round-headed boars looks like. Another type of insect is insects that attack the foliage of desert trees. These include acacia whitefly, aphids, and psyllids. Acacia whitefly actually appears dark gray 
or black because of the large spot on the body. These insects reproduce rapidly and cause significant leaf loss. Aphids are a common and widespread plant pest that can attack desert species. Aphids are restricted to succulent new growth on the tips of the twigs of the desert trees. Aphids reproduce rapidly and can quickly kill small twigs and deposit honeydew, a clear sticky material excreted by aphids that blackens leaves and twigs. This is a psyllid. Psyllids feed by scraping at the undersides of leaves, giving the leaves a blotchy, yellowing appearance. Psyllids suck plant juices and produce honeydew, sometimes in crystallized form, on which black sooty mold grows. Abundant psyllid infestation can cause defoliation and reduce plant growth. If you would like to have your Palo Verde trees or any other trees evaluated, just give me a call at 480-969-8808 and I'll schedule a time for Warner to meet with you.